my name's Kev Felton and welcome to the Tesla Model S. Now this particular version is an 85. There are variants of this model with different numbers and the number denotes the size of the battery. So this one is 85, it's an 85 kilowatt battery. 100 is a 100 kilowatt battery. It will also be preceded or prefixed by either a P or a D. The P stands for performance and the D stands for dual motor control. It's got a 416 brake horsepower, governed top speed of 155 and 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds, which is pretty quick. It's quite a big car. It's uh, over five meters long, so we've actually got a boot on it. This version doesn't actually have the autopilot facility, but you can get an autopilot facility on a Tesla. And it is worth remembering that although it is an autonomous drive, really, you have to be in control legally in this country. It's got a range of about 220 miles around about. To start the car, to wake it up if you like, you just literally put your foot on the brake and the car will come to life and is ready at that point to drive off. Okay, so this here is our gear indicator. So as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the display there, we've got P, R, N and D. So we're telling us what, what gear we're in at any time. So P at the moment is our parking brake. So we've got that pushed in, securing the car. Put your foot on the brake and up we go to reverse. The camera comes on so we can see where we're going and then we foot still on the brake. We go down and we're back in drive. Once you've arrived at where you're going, You'll notice there's a rather large space here and there's no parking brake. What you do, you press the P on the gear shift and that automatically shuts the car down. So as you can see, we've got a, a 17 inch screen on this Tesla Model S here and there's all sorts of facilities on here. The main ones that we're going to look at today will be the controls. So we press the button down there. We can open all the doors, the front trunk as they call it, the charge port from inside here by pressing the button. We can set the lights in here and uh, also we can change the ride height. So we can choose very high to low and you've also got, uh, once it's set to 70 miles an hour, it will actually lower down automatically to give you a lower sense of gravity, and more downforce. The driving mode, you've got comfort, standard and sport. You can have creep, so anybody that drives an automatic will know what creep is and you can actually have that either on or off in this vehicle by means of the switch here. You've got a range mode and a regenerative braking which you can have as either low or standard at the moment it's set on standard. The trip computer, this is the important bit and this is mirrored on the right hand side there or the left hand side of the display in front of me. Um, so we've got their reset current trip which you can tick, take that off so that again that's disappeared on there then you can tick trip B and just reset trip A hold that and then that'll go to reset and then that'll go back to zero like that. So those are the figures you're looking at when you're doing your training to um, record the figures. Displays, so auto brightness, day night mode. So if I press night and it'll go click and off it goes. So it just goes back to day and then put it on auto and that'll change back to as it is auto brightness over there. Bang, off we go.